hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is about how to look attractive and smell good you can dress up look good and you know to yourself you feel like yeah i mean you're actually popping but people will not find you that attractive because you smell so bad you smell good that then people will be able to come close to you they will find you attractive and whatever you're wearing whatever you're putting on will all look attractive together so today's video i want to show us how to smell really really good all over i'm gonna start from like head to toe these days i know it's a wig all over like commonly people just use wig these days and even me i use wig all the time mostly all the time not you know just when i'm going out but when i am here though i take off the wig i have my air plated and it looks good so what i'm trying to say is that because some people use wig and they feel like the wig is actually covering um the air underneath so no one is gonna see the how, how dirty or how how disgusting the underneath air is then you know you're totally wrong they don't have to see it physically but it smells the smell will come out and trust me you see the wig that we put on these days um when it's too much it gives heat definitely and when the heat is too much the heat will come out i mean you will, you will smell if the hair underneath is not neat you will definitely smell it when you are close to someone even you yourself you can smell yourself you can smell your hair when the heat is too much you will smell it when the hair is so dirty so you need to keep the hair your natural hair underneath you need to wash it and you know blow dry it and maybe plait your hair like since you're using a wig just place it to like maybe three three can roll or you know whichever way you desire what me what i normally do is i do these tiny ghana weaving i do very tiny ones that is not even obvious that is gonna weaving so i i just wash my hair and then i plait it nicely so that when i'm at home or i'm just going to the shop to get something i don't have to put on a wig so when i'm at home i can just remove the wig and get some fresh hair in my hair that is what i love most about wig so i can free my head and you know when even your when your partner moves closer to you, you the, the the hair your natural hair is neat is clean is not smelling so that is that is that about the hair so now i'm going to oral hygiene oral hygiene is very important our mouth smells why because you know sometimes when you close your mouth for too long you when you just open it all of a sudden you you can smell something so what i do is after at home of course i have a normal brush and um mouthwash all of that so when i when i'm at work or i'm out and about anywhere when i feel like my mouth is smelling maybe i've eaten something that makes my mouth smell especially let me say when i'm at work after hitting my lunch i brush my teeth i just go in the bathroom and brush my teeth and i have this um this one go mouthwash i have this one it's is very handy it's on the go and this is what is inside i have this inside it so it's like a sash it's a sachet is a, a mouthwash so this is really good so when i feel like my mouth is smelling so after eating at work i just brush my teeth i have an extra brush for work i brush my teeth and i rinse my mouth out with this mouthwash and even if i'm out and about and i feel like 
you know uh, i'm smelling something but yeah i've um maybe i've eaten something on the way and i don't like the the smell of it i don't like my breath then i just open this and squish my mouth squish it in my mouth and throw it then you will your mouth will that your breath will smell fresh so this is what i do so you don't have to go with brush but i only go go with a brush when i'm when i'm going to work so but not how to and about of course where will you stop by and start brushing your teeth it's crazy so i just take that to work and when i do a, a night shift i just you know of course in the morning your mouth will have some kind of smell so you have to just freshen up you never can tell who you're gonna meet on the way when going home in the morning so you want to talk to someone and you know someone is saying hello you want to be free to open your mouth and say hello so this is really good so make sure you you know you freshen up your breath all the time it's very important so and one more thing some people have a very strong um odor sometimes a strong mouth odor might be um an underlying health problem it, so you need to check with your doctor to have you checked and you know do some checkup but otherwise if it's just some normal for some people there is no amount of how how much they brush their feet they um they brush their teeth and how much they you know the oral hygiene they do it's still gonna smell really really strong so that is an underlying problem and one thing i forgot to mention is you need to floss your teeth all the time because the food we eat the meat we eat gets stuck in in between our teeth so um i've got this from this you can get this from boots and you can get it from super drug so this one is really really good this is interdental interdental brush it goes in between in between your teeth in, in between the gums it goes in between and brush in between your teeth this is really good i use this because and also i've got braces on my teeth so i need to make sure that i clean my mouth all the time so that is that and your tongue as well our tongue smells so all this build up of bacteria in our mouth and it's due to what we eat it causes the mouth to smell really really bad so this is for for the tongue so you use this you brush your teeth and you use this place to kind of scrape your tongue and scrape off all the dirt all the bacteria and everything so this is what i use and after using this um using the interdental brush to brush your teeth then you know bro and then use your normal brush to brush your teeth and rinse it out and then you use a mouthwash this is usually not them i use listerine mouthwash at home but when i'm out and about i just pop like two of these in my bag so it's always there so i just pop this in my bag for you know how to and about and freshen up my breath and if you don't have this maybe you run out of this or anything make sure you have like a mint all this mint sweets and stuff and have it in your bag just pop that in your mouth to have this you know cool mint fresh breath it helps i do that sometimes so yeah that's it about your mouth so now let's talk about all the growing area i've got as for me now i've got a lot of hair i am so hairy i've got hair on my hands i've got hair on my armpit of course everyone get hair on the on their armpit and down there so if you are lucky you might not have hair on your hands but as for me i have hair all over i have hair on my hands i have hair on my legs i have hair everywhere else that everyone have it so 
I see no reason why a woman should keep these areas full of hair. No, is I, I don't think he's right. I don't know. Some men kind of like it. I've seen some women say, oh, my husband like the hair down there. I'm sorry. I don't like the hair down there. I cannot keep the hair down there. You have to shave down there. And when I mean shave, do not use um, like, um, like a shaving stick for down there. I don't, I don't use that because it causes um, bumps. You will start having these bumps around there. It's, got, it's gonna make it look rough and you know, not cool. So what I use for my down there is this, is this shaving balm. And it's, um, can you see that? Yeah, so it's for sensitive skin. I got this from Superdrug and I think they are the only one that sell these products. This is for your bikini area, it's for, uh, which is your, you know, your private part, your vagina. So you use this to shave the hair around there. So how to use this is just apply, it's got the remover cream and it's got the balm. So the removal cream is what you apply first on the hair everywhere around down there where there is hair apply the cream leave it on for some minutes the instruction to use it is on here so i'm still gonna say it anyway so you leave it on for some minutes and then get a flannel and warm water to wipe it down and then rinse the flannel off again because you you definitely cannot get everything in one wipe so wipe out one side of it you will see the hair all the hair on the flannel so rinse it out and then after rinsing that one wipe it off again wipe the rest and then you know just do it like that rinse off wipe off rinse off wipe, wipe it off and then you everything is gonna look clean and it's gonna feel when you when you touch your the area around uh, that uh, around your vagina oh my god it's gonna feel silky very silky and smooth fresh like like baby skin i love this so much and i, I can't i don't think i can do without this i pray this they do this product forever but so far so good i've been using it for years now and they haven't run out of it the person making this is still alive may god keep that person alive forever so this is very good i recommend this for down there i have this one as well i have this one this is actually common you can get it any in any store i am sure everyone knows this one this one is is what i use for my ham my ham pig and my legs that is what i use so when i get some air around here just like one or two is not a lot and i pray it's not more than that i don't want to start looking like a man so i get like one or two hair around here i don't use any shaving cream around my face i just use the um shaving stick not not actually a shaving stick i have this um ele electric um brush that i use in washing up my makeup to deep clean to exfoliate my skin i i have that and it comes with some heads that has um the the blade that cut off all of that so i just changed the head to the blade and shave around it so quick it's just two hair and you know i just shave that off otherwise never use shaving cream on your face please this one i don't use it down there because um it burns it burns so quick it will it, because the, the skin around there is so soft is is very soft it's very tender so anything strong anything harsh can burn you down there and trust me when you get burned down there oh my god hi 
just pray you you pray that you, you don't feel like you want to we oh my god if your we if your urine touch that area hi it's like hellfire it's like hellfire trust me it's gonna burn you you will scream so please do not choose this one but this one is really good it's very for sensitive area it's, it's so it's so gentle on your skin so this is really really good and it won't cost you any <coughs> any itchiness or something or get irritated around there it doesn't cause all of that so but some other um remover air remover if you use it down there you start feeling itchy and buns and, and all of that so which is not good so this is really really good please get this one so that's what i use for shaving off all my hair and right after having your bath use after having my bath and i've rubbed my lotion and everything on my skin then I spray this I get this from Superdrug you can get online as well and you know I shop online a lot so I hardly go in the shop I just go on Superdrug online just you know you can shop for a lot of things and they get it delivered to your shop um, to your to your door it's so easy i just find it easy not walking around the shop and at the end of the day you can't even find what you're looking for but online you will see a lot of choices and you can but whichever way is cool what matters is you you get what you want so i use this i spray this around my chest my neck if anyone hugs you they will feel like not letting you go this is gonna smell really really good so i use this but it doesn't stay on you for long because it's like a, a body mist so it, it stays on for like two hours and yeah it, it's a fade off but if someone should kind of maybe kiss your chest or you know hug you so close they will they will definitely smell something even if it's over two hours i will still know that i know you, you i mean you, you're smelling very authentic so and this one is what i use i spray this under my hand paste so the hand paste must be free of hair there must be no hair under your hand please no hair I don't know why some people I mean you so I don't know some women they will have hair a lot of hair that you raise up your hand and it's a lot of bushy and some even have some color around that I don't I don't really get it I mean it, it's of no use around there it looks dirty so to me it's I don't know and the same thing applies to a man as well a man too should you know shave down there shave because one thing I realize about down there, if you have a lot of hair around there and your partner is trying to, you know, go in there, the hair kind of blocks the way and you end up injuring your partner, it's going to get some cut around there because the hair is going to be rubbing against the, is, is thin and I don't know how to call it, I don't want to be too raw, so, but I know you get what I mean your hair is gonna be rubbing against his thing and you know it's gonna cut him around the hand you as well when he's going in and out in and out the hair is gonna cut your skin as well make sure you shave your hand paid your down there your if you have hair anywhere else shave them out and you know spray this on every day even if you have your shower before going to bed you want your partner to smell you really good and just stay close to you like you know super glue you want to have this all the time just under your hand pain nowhere else if you want something around all over your skin use this body mist 
you can spray this around but this is not strong enough for your hand paint so that's why i wouldn't recommend this for your armpits but this is just for you know your skin because it's so gentle it's not something too strong for your skin but this one and it's a lot of this you don't have to get dove any body spray you don't you don't have to get dove you don't there is a lot we have sure we have um I, you know i don't know all the name but you know there are a lot of these but i just love though because it smells it smells i mean the, the smell just gives me some life so i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't really even know how to describe it so i love dove so just spray this around your hand paint. trust me if you smell any body odor after using this one if you smell any body odor go and go and see your doctor then there must be something very terrible going on under underneath your skin that needs attention with this you will never smell anybody odor no way this stays on 24 hours and when you have your shower at night before going to bed you spray this under your hand paint again and you go to bed no matter how hectic the job you are doing no matter how sweaty your job makes you you makes you sweat with this you will not smell any bad odor how out, out of your hand paint and also women especially women with big boobs underneath our breast can smell as well because um is eating it, the, the breast is lying under under there so it's it's kind of eating so you need something so what I do is after having my shower I just make sure I dry that area very well make sure it's very dry when is um, when it locks in moisture that's when you smell you get a bad smell so what I do under there I spray this on the you just hold your boobs up cover your nipple with you know maybe a towel some small towel and or you can just cover hold it hold your hand cover your your boobs like that your nipple just in case you're breastfeeding or even if you're not breastfeeding if your husband wants to be with you and he wants to put his mouth there he's not gonna be sucking on some perfume and stuff so use this on the so raise raise your boobs and spray this underneath and after doing that i use a baby powder this baby powder just get a tissue paper and fold it into very small <coughs> sorry guys my throat is getting dry so Fold it into like your palm size like that and you know pop some powder on it and rub it underneath it you will not feel sweaty down there it's gonna stay dry and it's gonna smell good so that is it so down underneath our breast and underneath <coughs> the armpit gives odor and when the hair underneath your head is dirty as well the heat will bring out the smell trust me it will bring out the smell so make sure those eating area and down there smells it can smell if you're not looking after it very well it can ve smell very well what i do i'm not gonna tell you all i do tonight because i don't want this video to be super long i'm gonna show you what i do after my um my period every month how i clean down there i'm gonna show you in my next video what i use and how all the step by step how i do everything i'm gonna show you and trust me you will thank me later and so let me just say a little about down there down there you need to change your pan regularly and if you can of course it's sometimes it's difficult you can't be going about with pants in your um, maybe a couple of pants in your bag 
but when you are on your period you need to have like extra pants in your bag bag just in case the bag um gets um just just in case it stains the pants you're wearing stains which i don't think so it has never happened to me because of the type of pad i use in fact you know what let me let me make that in the next video let me just talk about the basic one right now so make sure everywhere is clean and cleaning down there every day i know they said oh um don't clean too much down there blah 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 or don't dig in there make sure your hands are clean when you want to clean down there make sure your hands are clean and down there is the last thing i do after having my shower my bath blah 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 washing everything then i focus down there last 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 that's what i do last so what i use i use this femme fresh i'm sure most people are familiar with this so i use this femme fresh it's very soft it's not something full of deodorant and some people can use um dove there, there are different types of dove now the bar soap the dove some people use it but you know i don't really i've used it once it's not bad the the original one the white one that's what you should use it say it says sensitive bath soap so that's what you, you should use down there but i usually don't go for that so this is what i go for this is really good so just pop a little bit on your palm and use it to wash around your vagina not inside do not put soap inside there just use the soap to wash around your vagina and the back <coughs> and the back line as well wash around there and rinse with water don't use hot water hot hot water because hot water kills the natural bacteria in the vagina around the vagina so don't use hot 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 um water please so just use uh, like a warm or cold water down there and you're gonna feel this um freshness this cool feeling down there you're gonna feel so good so use this so after using this this soap and rinsing it off the last thing i do is then i use my finger that is why you should make sure that your hand is clean just for people that use nails i don't know about that i am not a fan of fixing nails i don't i don't fix nails the only thing that can make me fix my nails is when i have a special um celebration maybe like a wedding or naming you know personal special celebration birthday and stuff i can just fix my nails for you know all the paparazzi aside that not on a normal day i will not fix my nails and if i have any special occasion and i you know fix my nails the next day after the party i'm taking it off because i just don't find it very comfortable it feels like i cannot do a lot of things with the nails on i can't clean the house i can't can't cook i can i don't I, i'm not used to it from right from childhood because my dad will not allow it so i find it weird even as an adult as much as i love fashion as much as i love to you know look so glamorous i just i just don't i don't fancy nails really i don't fancy it at all so the only thing i do is just go to the um the chinese shop where they do pedicure i just do my feet though you know massage my feet scrape off the hard skin and you know it make it make, makes my feet look so soft and they put some um some paint and paint my nails and all of that and that's it just my feet i, I don't fix my nail my toenails either i just put some paint, paint on some paint on my natural 
uh, my natural nails so but my hands stays the same like just like that and if it's growing a little bit I'm I'm just chopping it up. I don't I don't like it growing like that. I'm I, I don't keep nails at home. So and also my type of job you can't you're not allowed to have nails on or fix some nails or you know things like that just for infection control. So when after washing your down there I use this my finger that is why it is very important to make sure that your finger is very clean I mean your hand so and don't keep nails because you can actually pass some dirt under your nails into your vagina so make sure your nails you are nails free and everything is clean your hand is clean so what I do is I dig my index finger i dig it in there and you know when you dig it in there you kind of you know how do i how do i call it kind of maneuver your hand around in there and bring it out you will bring out some white stuff that is discharge of course they said is um a natural discharge that is good but they said it's good in there because um, it's, uh, it's protecting um, bacteria from swimming in. Please, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't keep it in there because our body produces um, natural discharge. So I feel like I don't want to keep the discharge there. So you have a discharge from last week and it's hanging there. Because I don't feel like everything actually comes out. There will still be some we stain your pants, but there will still be some left in there. And it's building up, it's building up. It's gonna smell even if your if your partner is going in and out, there will be this white thing around his pennies, which looks awkward. So I, I just and it's gonna give some smell like that. I don't know, I'm so sensitive to smell. So I don't keep that. I don't. So I use my finger. I stick it in there, and I bring out all of this, um, all of this discharge thing. You will dig it in, maneuver it around, and bring it out. You're gonna see it like that. It's it's very thick and and whitish kind of. You bring it out. Use water to rinse it off, like that go in again do that again you will bring something out do it like do it like few times and you 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 until nothing is coming out anymore until you are not seeing any white stuff anymore and trust me when you do that over and over again and at the last time that you can't really see any white stuff when you want to go in you feel like that area feels tight already so wait bring that out i mean i do that every day every blessed day i do that because i believe that the body will produce you know a fresh discharge that will stay there and that will not smell because it's fresh but get rid of the yesterday one don't leave it there to stay to the next day and the next day and the next day so get rid of the old ones let the fresh one come come there and the next day get rid of the one of yesterday as well you you, you get what i mean so get rid of all of that all of these nonsense i mean it, it smells really to me I, I don't keep all of that in my down there and trust me when your partner you, you're gonna smell great and good because you you really looking after down there there is no point keeping things there and when you smell really really bad down there or like kind of fishy smell that can be infection so but trust me since i've been doing all of these things i've been i can't even remember the year i've been treating down there like this always you can't smell anything horrible down there no way 
no way and i'm still gonna show you guys more that i do down there your partner will love you forever trust me because down there is gonna smell great and it will it will feel tight you get what i mean like tight even after having 20 children they will still feel like you haven't got any children and i'm gonna show you guys about that in my next video so whenever you use the toilet outside make sure you have wipes in your bag to wipe down there because i would say if it's at home and you pass urine you just wash with water but when you are out there the, you can't be asking for water everywhere you hardly can find water to you know wash down there so just get wipes all this um there is this baby water wipes for baby or anything sensitive for sensitive skin you just use it to wipe around there and they also sell wipes for down there as well fan fresh wipes there is one for a lady to wipe down there i don't really fancy tissue the tissue paper because um it doesn't really like get rid of any holder because build up of urine around there is what causes um a smell it makes it smell but when you use wipes it's just like um, you're using water to clean down there so the wipes kind of wipe every remain of urine and any dirt around there the wipes just get rid of everything and use pansy liner if you can't change your nika regularly use panty liner and make sure you have panty liner in your bag so the panty liner is what you put on top of your um your pant is very thin like that is different from pad it looks like pad but it's different it's very thin very tiny so you just put it around there and that's it so every time you pass your in you just change your pant liner instead of changing your pant so and your pant stays clean so people that cannot reach you know when you're washing your when you actually using sponge to wash yourself some people cannot reach their entire back just like me i can't reach everything like all my back right to the top so i have this this is my third hand <laughs> i use this brush you can get it from super Jug as well i just pop my soap on the top and i use it to wash my back it's really good and very handy as well so you just <coughs> use this to wash your back and you will fit and this kind of kind of scrub your back somehow it kind of exfoliates your back and scrub it somehow and it goes really deep and after rinsing it off you feel this you, you feel this good you, you feel this goodness around there which you know i don't really get it but this is really good and also if you want to clean just like me when i'm using my lotion i like to moisturize all my skin like every part of my body must not be left out i i must moisturize everything though so i use this because i can't i can't reach the top here as well so i just pop my lotion at the top here and i use it to cream my back and trust me this is really good just for sometimes i don't use it if my partner is around and i can just tell him please help me to cream my back but if he's not around this is my hand i just use this one i pop the lotion on here and i i rub my back just in case you know some women they wear back layers and the whole place the whole area is white like it is so dry and flaky I, I, oh, I, I don't understand it don't you look at the mirror no if you are wearing armless or a, a backless that's something that will show any part of your skin that will be showing 
please moisturize it anywhere you're showing let make sure it's something that is fresh and is is looking good because how can you be exposing a flaky skin and dry and so white i don't i don't get it it's not attractive so what are you really exposing what are you showing up i don't i don't get it so please if there is no one to help you you can help yourself with this thing and when this is dirty is removable this top part is removable you just wash it and is it is it wash off very quickly just wash this and pop it back on all right pop it, you know rub around there use this this reach any part of your body so put some cream on here and moisturize that area and you know look good look at the mirror look at what you're doing look at the standing mirror moisturize around wherever you are exposing and you take me later and for our lips as well um, the, i got this from mac this is a lip scrub and it has like a um, kind of oil in it as well that keeps your lips um very shining this i got it from mac and trust me you don't really have to get it from mac you can do some homemade lip scrub you can use sugar sugar and honey you can use it as your scrub but i just don't have time for all of this homemade stuff so i love ready made so i just get this so this you use it to scrub off your lips because you see some people's lips very dry and white and have this flaky stuff use this to exfoli exfoliate your lips and that's it and moisturize it with lip balm any type of lip balm you're using just you know moisturize your lips all the time and you know let your lips appear so soft and silky and you know kissable so so stay fresh smell good look good always i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video